It's a hover car. Wow. So BMW 2002 hover car? Yeah, and since everybody keeps asking us what we're gonna be doing to this car, today we're gonna go over it with you. Welcome to the EV Show. This is a 1976 BMW 2002. We're gonna be showing you what's underneath. So at first we were gonna put in the small rear drive unit into this car and once the owner told us he has another 2002 that has a S62 swap done to it, we felt that there was no other way besides putting in a large Tesla drive unit. So with the original design that we were gonna do with the smaller motor, the factory suspension that was four lug was gonna be sufficient. Now that we're upgrading to the Tesla drive unit that has a lot more power and torque, we felt for longevity of the car, we were actually gonna switch over to a little bit beefier suspension. We're actually taking E12 rear control arms and grafting them onto E10 subframe. And in doing so, we actually are boxing in the arms for reinforcement since they're not just a stamped open plate design. For the front, we're actually gonna be using TII struts, which will switch us over to five lug. So the front and the rear will match on the five on 120 volt pattern. <laughs> so these plates I've actually designed in house. They, I've done a BMW 1602 and done the same swap for the conversion on that car as well. So we actually had these plates done, we cut them out, welded them in and we've actually gone ahead and made the mounts on the car for it as well. So this is gonna be the rear battery pack that's going in the car. It's gonna be composed of six LG Chem batteries. We're gonna run it in a 2P configuration. So we'll have six in the back seat and six will be up front mounted underneath the hood. This battery is the LG Chem. It's actually gonna be a 32 kilowatt system running at 400 volts. With a system like this, we're gonna be shooting right around the 100, 110 mile range, but until we actually get the system running and the car driving, we won't know specific details until then. This is the same battery setup that we use in our Porsche 911 kits, as well as our E36 drift car that we've built, amongst a few other builds. What are these? This is a rough layout that we do in foam to check dimensions for bus bars and connecting the batteries together so we can figure out rough layout before actually getting uh, copper bus bars cut out. So this is gonna be the front box. It's gonna be the same LG Chem batteries, 6S configuration, and we're gonna be mounting it up front in a custom enclosure that we're still working on the design and mounting in the vehicle. So we do all of our battery boxes out of basically poster board so we can mock up size, fitment, and mounts before we actually get them water jet out of aluminum. Arts and crafts, what's it look like? So this is gonna be our rear battery box. Like the front, we already have this one figured out sizing and dimension wise. So we already have it built out of the aluminum. It's gonna house the six LG Chem battery modules in the bottom here. And in the top, we're gonna to hold the, all the components that go in the contactor box. It fuses, contactors, it's gonna have all the battery management solution stuff mounted inside, as well as uh, safety switches and all the other components. We haven't quite figured out where we're gonna put the charger, but as far as the charge inlet goes, we're still gonna to try to make it fit into the stock gas cap location. This is the power plant for this 2002. Like we said earlier, we were going to run the small Tesla drive unit in there, but after talking to the customer, he wanted to run the large drive unit. So we had to come in, cut off the 
old mounts and remount the large drive unit in here so it would fit. This drive unit will have about 400 kilowatt. If we decide to go with the P model, we'll have about 450 kilowatt, which is gonna be in the range of 580 to 600 horsepower. Above the motor to reinforce the chassis, since it is a unibody, we had Action Vehicle Engineering do the cage structure for us, which strengthens the rear end of the car to support this motor. So in comparison, the stock 2002 has about 100 horsepower and the motor we're putting in is gonna be between 580 to 600 horsepower. So we're gonna be up in that a little bit. So the motor is pretty much mounted in the car, all ready to go. Next, all we gotta finish up is the finalizing the front battery box, mount the rear battery box, and start the wiring on this thing. And hopefully not too long, we'll be doing burnouts. Follow along for further progress on the build.